okay you guys so this next video i think it's multiple videos this one says most heart stopping moments of 2022 so let's look at these these are the most heart stopping moments of 2022 a miracle happened in november when an suv went airborne and flew over a car that was god right there oh my god what the hell? Driven by a priest on his way to church. I do believe it's a marathon. That God's hand was in it some way. Father John Bach was in the white Hyundai on his way to Sunday Mass. The driver of the SUV had a seizure and lost control. Oh All of a sudden, I sensed something go by me, but I didn't really see it. He had no idea what happened and went on to deliver Mass. Afterward, a police officer showed him the surveillance video. Oh my God. The pole the driver hit helped them avoid collision. He hit it so perfectly that it sprung him up in the air uh, like a pole boulder. Perhaps a guardian angel has something to do with it. This video from April shows the moment of impact when a speeding Ford Mustang hit a school bus full of middle school students. See how they all just flying everywhere? See, I feel like this is why they have like a uh, I can't remember the name of the second person that's supposed to be on the bus with the kids the adult that makes sure all the kids sit in the right seats they're supposed to make sure that all the kids have on the seatbelts the kids flying everywhere kids climbed out of windows and the emergency door to safety witnesses also came to assist the bus driver and seven oh students God. were sent to the hospital for their injuries Damn. Something similar happened in June with this Virginia school bus crash. Police say a Ford F-150 overcorrected after veering off the road, then slammed into the bus. The driver tried to maintain control of the vehicle, but the bus flipped onto its passenger side and slid into a ravine. Bystanders rushed to the aid of the students and adults by climbing in through the windows. The five special needs students and two adult workers were treated at area hospitals for non-life-threatening injuries. Also in June, a mom with a baby stroller stepped to the side of the road to allow a car to pass. Then the wrong way driver plowed what right the into fuck? them. They flew up into the air and crashed down on the car. I And it looked like he kept going, y'all. For hitting the windshield, I broke it with my head. And even worse, I thought my child was dead. Rachel tried to move the stroller with her son strapped inside out of the car's path. Her son, Charlie, had a tire mark on the back of his head. You can see that when he's in midair, he's hanging like this, arms, legs, head, and his head is actually grazed by the front left tire. Rachel was scraped up and injured three discs in her back. A good Samaritan who saw what happened crashed his truck into the 16-year-old fleeing driver. The driver pleaded guilty to assault going. and hit and run and was sentenced to five to seven months at a juvenile detention camp. Wow, really? In January, video of this road rage incident in Miami was released. I think the I've video starts with Eric Popper relaxed and singing. <laughs> Next, police say he cut off another car. Oh my God. You can hear the other driver honking his horn. Y'all, these people is crazy for real, for real. They will really kill your ass. Popper glared at the rear view mirror. He says the other driver tailgated him and made obscene hand gestures. Moments later, Popper opened his center console and removed a handgun. When the other vehicle Ready. pulled up, Popper opened fire. Cops say he fired 11 times. If you look closely, you can see the other driver apparently throw a water bottle at the car. Popper says he thought he was being fired upon and was acting in self-defense. In June, this man spent Father's Day protecting his child from a gunman at a gas station in Detroit. The suspect opened the door, pulled out a gun and clip from his pants, inserted the clip and pointed it at a man inside who was holding a baby. Oh the protective dad immediately reacted, swatting the gun away and then running further into the store as the gunman retreated outside. The suspect then backed away, turned around and left. Afterward, a person of interest was put into custody. 
In November, security at a Buffalo, New York substance abuse treatment center stepped up when a man walked into the lobby with an AR-15. The guard went straight for the... Why would you, you see this man with this big ass gun? Why are you trying to fight him? You were supposed to be running the other way. Gunman. He wrestled him into a corner, pinned him up against a wall, and dragged him outside before other guards came to help. Oh, no. Cops say the incident was an attempted robbery for drugs. The suspect was arrested and charged with several felonies. This woman versus bison incident is from October. Oh. <laughs> I was way too close. Rebecca Clark was hiking in a Texas state park when she came upon a herd of bison. I'm gonna try to see if I can make it by. Mm -hmm. Wish me luck. She waited for them to pass and engaged in conversation. All right, guys, get going. Go over there to your babies so that I can get by. There you go. Get going. I just thought, well, I'd already passed them two miles ago, and then I came back through and I felt confident about it. At first, the bison ignored her. Thank you, I appreciate it. But as Rebecca got closer, one bison turned and growled before charging her. She dropped her phone as the beast pierced her in the back and sent her into a thorny bush. Oh, oh my God! It felt like a truck hitting you. He gored me, he hooked me with his horn, um, flipped me up, almost like kind of backwards. You should have stayed kind of back. Me up and she then stayed projected back. me forward into a mesquite bush. Mm -hmm. Rebecca spent six days in the hospital with a large gash on her back. She says she was lucky she wasn't killed. This deadly police involved shooting is from November. Cops showed up to a trailer after learning about a suspect wanted for an out-of-state warrant. Police say the woman who lives in the trailer told the three officers that no one was inside and gave them permission to enter and search it. Sammy, this is the police department. If you're in here, you need to make yourself known. Things quickly went left once they realized the suspect was hiding in a storage space underneath the bed. <laughs> He appeared to immediately start firing once one of the officers lifted up the mattress. Flying debris hit one officer in the face and he was treated and released from a local hospital. Damn. The suspect was killed in the gunfire exchange. Come out with your hands up! 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 This is Inside Edition Digital. Okay, you guys, this one was, this was a good one. Um, Let's check out this next video.